What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. It's Thursday. Why wouldn't you one day away and then the weekend's here? A long weekend for us. It's Labor Day over here in the U.S. I just found out yesterday I got Monday off. Nothing but a three-day weekend. And then it's silly because I'm only going back to work for Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm off Thursday all the way till Tuesday. I don't know what I did. Clearly, I didn't plan this well enough i wasn't organized with my planning skills on it but hey a day off is a day off and i'm not going to complain about a day off if you tuned into the live show last night over 500 of you came to the live show an amazing show a lot of information we mo mainly touched on the sec versus open c which is really the sec versus nfts we'll hit on that a little bit today we're going to look at telegram and the time coin what's going on with that we're going to talk about three all coins that may hit an all-time high in September, that's right. And then we're going to look into Bitcoin post elections, the price of BTC, and then XRP, $27. Hmm, that's right. Without further ado, sit back, relax. Let's jump into it. Wait, by the way, I, I got woke up. I'm waking up. Woke up. Woke up. I got woke up at 3.30 in the morning by my dog. He decided he was going to throw up. He threw up. I had to clean it. I then proceeded to go to the couch. I then proceeded to do a little bit of work on the couch because you know once you get up and you move, you can't really go back to bed. So I did some work on the couch, on my phone, talk with my dev gave me some information. And I just woke up about, I don't know, six minutes ago. It is now 7.56 in the morning and I got to be at work at 8 o'clock and I still have about eight minutes left in this video. Somehow, some way, this math just isn't going to work out, but hey. What are you going to do? Bitcoin, $60,281. It's currently up 0.28% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at $2,563. It's up 1.27%. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP. It's 57 and a half cents. It's now 1.23% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 2 trillion, 140 billion. Not so crazy for Chop City, but guess what? Bitcoin is back. Above 60K, XRP is going to be at 60 cents before you know it. And the most interesting chart out of all these, where did she go? This run right here, Ton Coin, this Telegram's coin. It's showing some life, folks. It is showing some life. I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit. Yesterday on the show, I put the announcement. Last 30 ounces went up for 20 bucks. The navy blue, they sold out. Well, now it's the 40 ounce time. $24.99, free shipping anywhere in the world. That's right, 22 of them stock. We let it go at the special price until it sells out. Bada beam, bada boom. It's called the sales for days. I like that. Then we get this. Telegram link time blockchain suffers its second outage. So this token, first, the guy behind Telegram got arrested, right? Everyone heard the story. You know, you know the, the business there. Secondly, the token goes, the network goes down. It then comes back up. It then goes down again. Craziness. So I think the big question is here, if you are a time coin holder, because obviously you got beat up in the last 90, 60 week, you know, what should you be doing? If I was interested in this token, and I'm not, I would be a buyer. It's going to recover. It's going to rebound. And I think when it does, you're going to make a nice, you know, 30, 40, 50% gain on it. Not financial advice. Just what Rip would be doing if he was looking into the time coin. Four all coins that could hit new all-time highs in September, folks. That's uh, three days away. Casper, Binance, Brett, Manta all have the possibilities of making new all-time highs next month. There's the cash chart right there. They're thinking it could blast up to a new all-time high. Binance coin as well. Look, CZ's out of jail. It's time to full send this thing. This thing's about to look. Binance coin is going to be a powerful one, okay? And you got Brett, which a lot of people are funding. This is probably a paid article by Brett, and they just grouped this in with a bunch of these other bigger coins because that's what they do. There's your altcoin update. I know you like that. Vanek CEO, he expects Bitcoin to be at 350 thousand and he mentions a bullish people expect 2.9 million listen just listen to this this is van x ceo folks which do you like better bitcoin or ethereum bitcoin what's your i'm a price? gold guy okay. i'm a gold guy <laughs> give me your price target for for the longer term with bitcoin because right now at about sixty three thousand, 
Where do you see it going? Right. So about a year ago, I started pounding the table because eventually the Fed is going to start easing here. That's great for gold and that's for Bitcoin. What I said is Bitcoin is growing up and will be eventually half the total market cap of gold. So that's about 350,000. So quite a ways to go from here. Uh, the Super Bowls, if central banks adopted and, uh, you know, it's part of the monetary system, uh, then you know, in the millions, but I don't like to talk about that too much. What, more than two million, more than three? Yeah, like 2.9, we've got some model, which is, you, you have to look at the assumptions. Right, well, yeah, there are always, which do you like? Better? Oh, how interesting is that? Van Eck has their own models, folks? Of course they do. I told you, the institutions are going to run these markets. They're expecting 350,000. Remember I kept telling you in previous videos, did you really think the retail sold the top to the institution? Because everyone's kicking and screaming that the bull market's over. Of course not. Folks, they got in around 50K. It's going to go to 350, they're thinking. They're looking at what? A 7X? They can't get a 7X in the stock market even if they had the best inside traders in the stock market. These institutions aren't stupid. They know what they're doing. And you, for some crazy reason, are believing that person on Twitter that has some BS profile avatar picture. You don't even know what he looks like. You never even heard his voice. And he's telling you that we're entering a uh, bear market. We aren't entering a bear market. We're nowhere close to a bear market. We still have a solid 6 to 12 months in this bull market. And we have yet to even see the fun begin. I told you when the fun gets started. We break 74,000, the fun kicks off, and the fun gets going. For now, we chop. That's it. It's that simple. Open C. They received a Wells notes from the SEC threatened to sue them because they believe NFTs on their platforms are securities. They said they are shocked. I don't know why you would ever be shocked by anything the SEC does. Let's be honest about that. But they, they said that they are ready to stand up and fight. Cryptocurrencies has been long in the crosshairs of the SECs like Coinbase, Uniswap, Robinhood, Kraken, and Consensus. Very interesting that he left Ripple off the list. You think it was done on purpose? I do. But that is that is but that is a move into uncharted territory. By targeting NFTs, the SEC would stifle innovation on an even broader scale. Hundreds of thousands of online artists and creatives are at risk, and many do not even have the resources to defend themselves. NFTs are fundamentally creative goods, arts, collectible, video game items, domain names, event tickets, and more. We should not regulate digital art in the same way we regulate collateralized debt obligations. Look, I'm telling you right now, OpenSea better fight this. Yeah, they set up here to ready to stand up and fight. Okay, they made millions beyond millions. If the SEC comes at them, and I'm sure they're going to be like, hey, look, give us 50 million, this whole thing will disappear. Uh, they better not roll over and pay this. They better do, do what Ripple did. Ripple fought for all of crypto, not just XRP, not for Ripple. They fought for the entire cryptocurrency industry. OpenSea better do the exact same thing. And it's kind of shitty by them that they left Ripple out of the list. The biggest lawsuit in crypto history, Ripple versus the SEC, and these idiots leave them out. You think that was done on purpose? Don't answer it. I'll answer for you. Of course it was done on purpose, folks. Every single time Bitcoin after the election, folks, can you see it? Can you see what happens here? And you're nervous. You're afraid that the bull runs over. Come on, man. Look. Look at the chart. We're approaching election time. Look at the chart. Look where this thing is going. Do you see it? This is going to be like uh, 2016, 2017. This thing is going to go absolutely freaking parabolic. It's going to explode all the way to the top, folks. You don't. I don't think you're ready for what's coming. If you don't have an over-the-counter set up, you definitely are not ready for what is coming. You better get it set up. You better get an exit plan. Go write it down. Go get pen and paper out and do this old school. You write down on a piece of paper. When XRP three hits $3, write a percentage you're selling. When XRP hits $3.50, write a percentage you're selling. 
When XRP hits four dollars, write a percentage you're selling and go all the way up. If you think three dollars is a simple target, if you think we're going to get into a different range, adjust your targets. If you think we're going to be at six to ten, start at six bucks. Start dollar cost averaging on the way out. The same thing you do when you're buying. It works on the way up and it works on the way down, folks. We are not timing a top here. Just like we are not timing the bottom of the market, physically nearly impossible. Lee Grant Crypto said XRP half pump could leave to $27. He's talking fibs. He's talking 2017.618 puts us at around 70 uh, excuse me, $27. As you can see, the first target that he has lined up for us that I have been preaching from the mountaintops for months now, 75 cents. Go figure, everyone. Everyone is coming back to one important area for XRP, and that is 75 cents freaking sense like i've been screaming and saying and i'm gonna leave it like that wash your damn hands be nice and be kind to each other ripple van winkle is out